Hi, I'm Carrie O'Toole. Thank you so much for coming and checking out this page. If you're here, I'm assuming that you're a Christian counselor or a therapist of some type, and I just want to welcome you and say thank you so much for taking the time to come and check this out. The main reason that I wanted to do this page is to help counselors understand a little bit more about reactive attachment disorder. I earned my degree at Liberty University in human services, specializing in marriage and family therapy. I'm also a board certified Christian life coach, and I just received a certification as an attachment-based intervention specialist. I'm an attachment geek. I absolutely love this stuff. And the reason it's so important to me is because I've adopted two children, one of whom had severe reactive attachment disorder. We adopted him as a little boy of three and a half from an orphanage in Vietnam. And even though I knew a little bit about attachment, and we had a specialist lined up to help us from before we even went to Vietnam, we were not prepared. We had no idea what bringing a little traumatized boy into our home could do to a family. It triggered everything in both my husband and I that we didn't even know we had to deal with. It isolated our other children, and we ended up relinquishing this little boy to another family from our church after parenting him for eight years. It was the most difficult, heart-wrenching thing we have ever been through. The reason I wanted to do this video, however, is to help some of you understand what it was like to be a mom going into counselor after counselor. I stuck with one counselor for about four years and I drove for an hour each way every single week for four years. And some things did help, but he was still not bonding with us. We even hired this specialist to come into our home on two separate occasions to spend about 10 hours with us on a Saturday to see him in our own home environment. And it didn't help. I sought out different specialists and I would call them and have uh, consultations with them. Do you understand attachment disorder? And just because they knew about attachment theory, many of them would say yes. I actually attended a, um, a workshop for counselors. I was the only mom there and at this point I was not a counselor. And I couldn't believe some of the questions that they were asking. I kind of became the guinea pig. It was like, do they really do this? Is it really like this? Is it really as intense as I've heard? And what I recognized was, oh my goodness, I know more than the counselors do. And it was kind of a scary feeling because those people that I was going to for help, they really didn't know what they were doing. There are now more attachment therapists. There are more people who are really getting in there and digging in and figuring it out. But what I want you to understand is just because you understand attachment theory does not mean that you can counsel a child with reactive attachment disorder or their family. First of all, you're going to see moms who are totally over the limit. They are angry, they're frustrated, they feel like no one understands them, and so many of them have gone to counselors who have just said, let's put mom on some antidepressants and maybe into an anger management program because really this is her issue. It's not. She's just done. <laughs> She's over it. She doesn't know what else to do and there's no help. So I have a few suggestions for you. First of all, check out some of the uh, papers that I've posted on this page. Check out the videos that are on this page. Think about purchasing my book. You may have clients who are just like me. My therapist actually read my book and said, wow, if I hadn't read it, it would have taken us months to understand what, what it is that you're going through. It's a quick read. I'd ask you to read it for the families that you may counsel who have adopted children, children from foster care, or any other kids that have just had a horrible, traumatic, early, the first or for any child who was traumatized in the first couple of years of life. Reactive attachment disorder is on a spectrum. There's a scale. They're not all as severe. Some of them are very violent. Ours was not. He was just manipulative. But it was enough to make me feel like I was crazy. And if you don't understand that, you can actually do a lot of damage by stepping in and believing a child who is manipulative and lying as a source for survival. Um, they would go home and use it against the moms. 
so please check it out, uh, read it before you decide you want to counsel some of these kids. Please check out our YouTube videos that are linked at the end of this video. They're specifically done on reactive attachment disorder and I would just really recommend that if you would like to work with these children and their families that you spend some time in their home and see how they really react because they act very differently in front of a therapist using traditional therapeutic methods than they do in their own homes. Thank you so much for checking this out. I really appreciate it.